in our own experience at ASEN, uh, we were able to, to, to do uh, the ETM uh, approach of the Asian Development Bank, uh, we believe is the first uh, in the world in terms of market-based uh, energy transition mechanism. Uh, we did not need blended finance, um, but we could uh, also tap that. So just to share a little bit of insights on that, uh, we, we, we divested in a responsible manner uh, our 246 megawatt coal plant, literally just a few weeks ago, last November 7, where we achieved full financial close. It entailed not only the divestment, but the commitment to retire the coal plant at age 25, uh, after its 25th anniversary, which is in 2040. So we have the ability to call uh, to, 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 to buy back the plant, not to run it, uh, but to make sure that it gets retired and transitioned to a cleaner technology. So uh, we were able to do this through uh, increasing the leverage because the banks, uh, local banks in the Philippines that supported this, by the way, have policy against lending coal. But in this particular case, they embraced the, the uh, wisdom behind the ETM uh, structure and early coal uh, retirement because coal plants typically live until 40, 50 years old. So here we're committing to, to half the, the, the coal sub plant life. And that means 50, up to 50 million tons of uh, carbon uh, savings. Now, I think that's uh, quite a special um, transaction that demonstrates that it can be done, uh, ETM can be done. But even more importantly, I think uh, I want to echo Don's point that we need more mechanisms to be uh, including carbon credits to be more aggressive in terms of the timeline. We have the right to buy back the plant starting 2031 when all of our obligations will be done with our off-taker uh, in order to be more aggressive with the retirement and transition to newer technology. But obviously we will be facing asset write-down issues and so forth, which could be aided if we're able to get either uh, a grant or some carbon credits. Uh, right, So I think one of the things that I hope will be pushed as well is qualifying early coal retirement as part of carbon credits, because that will um, uh, uh, really uh, result in good behavior, which is inducing power plant owners, coal plant owners, to be shutting down their coal plants and not wait for age 50 before shutting it down. I guess there's still a lot of debate on additionality and so forth, but at the end of the day, to me, just pick a number. Uh, do you reward coal plants that uh, are shut down at age 25, 30, 35? I wouldn't recommend age 50, <laughs> right? But pick a number. It's not going to be perfect. But I think if you can really induce owners to shut down the plant at age 30 or 35, pick your number, it's a good thing. And I think that deserves some carbon credits uh, to, to monetize and, and justify uh, that behavior. You know? so, so I think that's just, just food for thought because we, we're not only about building and scaling up renewables, that's part of the equation, but also we have to have a, a more methodical um, uh, plan uh, to retire those uh, coal plants and not wait until age 50.